finally happening. Rwanda, here we come. I have been waiting for this trip for a year and a half now, and we are finally here. We are in Rwanda, in Gekali. We're here today because of the Barista Championship. I never thought I would travel the world through coffee. I hope we'll get to experience the fresh coffee, brew it in the coffee farm. This is like a dream come true. Yeah. The Origin Experience is a unique opportunity where we take partners to Origin so they can experience the very first 10 feet of our supply chain. We kicked off the morning with a drive into the heart of Rwanda. It's just so beautiful with the green Rwanda mountain. And then we reached the, the Kundakawa Cooperative. And there we got to see the different stages of trees being planted in the nursery. Seeing the process from planting the bean shows you that dedication starts from the beginning. From that stage, the tree is ready for planting. I got to plant my very own coffee tree. It made me feel like I am really responsible for the sustainability of coffee. And it made me feel like I am a part of something so much bigger. One of the great things from the Origin Experience is their opportunity to see coffee and farmer equity practices. It's broken into four pillars, quality, economic transparency, social responsibility, and environmental leadership. Farmer Support Center is an open source of agronomy. We support everyone. Cafe Practice certified farmers, as well as non-certified farmers. Having a farmer support center helps to change lives of people. It's also a connection, because once one farmer see his neighbor is doing quite well, he just ask him, what should I do to bear the same fruit? We also got to experience the picking of the coffee cherries. I used to think it was easy, but not really. I would never wish to see their hard work go for waste. After that, the washing, you know, the processing, the molds, trying the coffee. It was just an amazing experience. So we're tasting the Habakunda Kawa coffee. It's one of the coffee that I've experienced in store, but now surprisingly it's quite bold in flavor. Being here, nature's my spirit. So this is day two. We started with the last steps of processing coffee. Yesterday we had the wet milling, today we had the dry milling drying the coffee, removing the pitchment, and cupping as well to check quality. We went to see the sorting by hand. I got to sort a little bit of coffee myself. These are some of the defected beans, and I made a bit of a connection with one of the ladies. I can't believe all of these bags are just being sorted piece by piece for color, size, and any type of tiny defect. They have their part and we have ours, but they work the hardest. Part of the experience is that partners are removing the label of coffee and replacing it with the faces and places where coffee comes from. The supply chain is not a chain, it's actually a link of people doing their work to ensure a sustainable future of coffee. We also went to visit the Genocide Museum today. It makes me angry how much people are capable of violence. It amazes me that the people of Rwanda are still capable of putting trust in each other. I've always known that we were part of something bigger. I'm proud to be a partner with the people who help sustain the livelihood of the farmers every day here. Despite of what Rwanda has faced, they are full of love. There is a song that says, celebrate humanity, and then when you love, love unconditionally, because a better world begins with a smile. I know about Rwandan coffees. I've read about Rwandan stories, but now getting to experience people from Rwanda sharing those stories to us, it changed me. I'm a different barista, and I'm a different person. Bring on day three. 
Today it's the last day, so sad. Today we got to kick off the morning with a coffee tasting, Teddy, Foodie and I. It's always nice to have the champions reunited. After that, we headed down to the Farmer Support Center in Rwanda. In there, we get to do cup tasting, uh, and it was so amazing. We met up with Purple Ripple, the people who are in charge of the community service on the ground. After an experience like today, you just can't go home, not change. Coming here to the origin and seeing the people making it happen from seed to tree to package all the way to us, it makes the connection with the coffee a lot more special. To see that we are not only a coffee company, but we are a people's company happening to be serving coffee. First 10 feet and the last 10 feet connect us. Now that we have that connection with the people, well, that gives you a big sense of responsibility and it, it makes you feel you have such an important role. What Starbucks do supporting the farmers, now every gram counts. Every Rwandan coffee that I will brew, it will always bring me back to the memory. I am linked to Rwanda for life.